Like, share, <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back. Number one on these TSI practice problems says, if there are 2.2 pounds in one kilogram, how many pounds are there in X kilograms? And this is basic right here, and what this is referring to is the type of calculator you'd be allowed to use on this particular problem. Basic meaning your regular four-function calculator, so not a scientific, not a graphing, but just really one that can do your basic arithmetic. So the setup here is we want to set up a proportion that compares um, two equal ratios. So in other words, we're going to set two fractions equal to each other, and the setup for those fractions is um, on one side of the fraction, either the numerator or the denominator, you want to put pounds, and uh, on the other side, you want to put the other unit, in this case, kilograms. Now, it doesn't really matter whether or not you put pounds on top or on bottom. Um, it, this can switch, and that's fine. Just make sure that when you're setting up the other two, the, the two fractions, that you're consistent. So either pounds should be in the numerator in both fractions or in the denominator in both fractions. So the setup is kind of like this. We want to say... Um, we want to have two ratios or fractions that are equal to each other to make this proportion. And it says there are 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. Put 2.2 pounds here in one kilogram. And I'm just going to, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say one kilogram. And out to the side here, I'll just say pounds and kilograms. Just keep track of what we're talking about. So the next ratio will be, um, you know, how many pounds, so this is our question mark, that's what we're trying to find, are there in X kilogram? So instead of a question mark here, I think what I'll do is just put um, pounds, okay, and then we'll just solve for this. If you want to just use one variable like L, that's fine too, but um, I just want to make sure that we know what it is we're trying to find. So we're trying to solve for the pounds in terms of x. Notice how x is part of all these solutions. All of these expressions are written in terms of x. So we're just going to solve for x here. Now, we can use something called the cross products property. Now let me just break that down for you. Cross products property. Sometimes it's known as cross multiplication. But basically what it says is, if you've got a proportion, meaning you've got two equal ratios, like A over B and say C over D, you can rewrite this by multiplying A times D. So multiply the numerator of one fraction by the denominator of the other, and that will be equal to the product of the other numerator times the other denominator. So we have AD times, I'm sorry, equals CB, right? And so that's kind of what we're going to do here. This cross products property, um, we're going to multiply 2 times 2 by X, and then 1 times our pounds. Now, 1 times anything is just going to be the anything. So 1 times the number of pounds that we're looking for is just going to be the number of pounds. You could stick a 1 in front of it, but you don't need to. And then that's going to equal 2.2 times x. And that's basically it, all right? The number of pounds in x kilograms would be 2.2 times um, that number. Now, you can get away without doing any of this algebra. If you just kind of read it carefully, it's saying there's 2.2 pounds in each kilogram. So if you have x kilograms, you'd have to multiply 2.2 by that many kilograms. So this one really isn't too bad. Um, this is sort of the algebra behind the reasoning, but um, you can just kind of reason your way through this, and our answer here is B. Well, that's it for number one. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.